want to like dive into it. Like what's Michael the Phelps. camera's rolling? What's, what's going, going on, guys? guys? Bradley, Bradley Martin, Martin here. here. <laughs> I felt like I had like an echo that time. It was good. That was really good. Um, so before I get started, I want you guys to see like obviously like I bought Bam a bike. You know what I'm saying? Don't show the license plate because Bam, I want that on there. Got myself a bike, and um, yeah, you know I feel like it would be cool if we just you know sat on it post workout with our shirts off and left the helmet on took some photos you know also got some nike leggings maybe like stack supplements around it because they just so happen to be like around all my pictures why did you say that huh why did i say what i just thought it'd be cool like that's why i got these bikes for me and bam so we could like stunt on the gram so check my last picture on the gram i'm stunting on the gram probably selling you supplements um and they're in like the bottom they're probably like in the bottom corner of one of my photos anyways that's just life is that, what the is that why we did this video? Yeah, all right, are you all ready? Right. Let's go. All right, what's going on guys? Bradley Martin here. This is actually the real video this time. Um, Workout video. It was just, I was just shady over here. I just, there was a lot of shade here in this area. And like, I felt like it, like I just kind of wanted to add to the shade a little bit. But anyways, you see the shade, see look, the sun. But see look, now we're out here. And now it's like, what's going on guys? And then it's here, it's like, yo, so I'm gonna take some pictures on these bikes. And then it's out here, it's like, all right guys, so today we started off and we did this many sets. And it's like, all right, yo, fuck the haters, man. Flex harder than me. Anyways, okay, let's do the video. All the bullshit now. So you guys who are always in my comments, go in the comments and you can be like, video starts at, boom, right here. This is where it starts. Bam. Okay, now, start it off. Oh, this is an upper body routine, so you guys know. Obviously, you can see in the thumbnail, I'm like, or like I think I'm doing this. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm doing this. But I probably look bigger because the lighting was a little bit better because fitness is like 40, um, 40%, 80% lighting. Yeah, the angle. Angles. Okay. Yeah. The pump, a little bit of oil, maybe baby oil. Um, I didn't have this time. So, this is where the video really starts. This is upper body routine. Um, so there's no really preface to it. There's no like, it's bodybuilding or this or that. It's just, I just came to the gym and wanted to just get a fucking workout because that's how I felt today. That's how I felt in the top field a lot of days. Today, I actually got to work out. Um, we didn't film all my sets because um, Kevin was like, got stuff to do. Got stuff to do. Hurry up, Brad. Why'd Hurry you up. Put your foot back there. Huh? Why'd you put, why'd you do it? Yeah, it was like, I was getting ready for my show. Let me see. You ready? Yeah. Oh, shit. You see that pose, bro? That, you see that pose? Shit was good, bro. It's a good ass pose. Anyways, you know, the, the little twirly hands. You know? Being fit online coaching. Get it out. You know? Anyways. Oh, God. So much shade in this video. This is like, I bet we should just cut it. No. No. Fuck it. We're not. So. I started, like I, oh, and actually too, I want you guys to know, so I always start my upper body routines, especially if I'm gonna use bench or any kind of like pressing movements, I always start warming up my back because I have like this issue in my, I was gonna show you, but I can't show you on Kevin because you can't see him because he's invisible, um, but it's on my back right shoulder. Have a good one, bro. Um, and yeah, it's like back here. And I always, if I don't warm up properly, then it fucks me up big time. Like my, my, I'll feel off balance. So I always warm up my upper back, my rear delts, rotator cuff, that area before I go into pressing movement. So make sure you guys do that as well. So I just use it as an exercise. Also because my back is lagging. So touch up body parts. Um, I just did four sets. Uh, I kind of went in between like a, a front pull. So like up here to like the clavicle and then a behind the neck pull. And if you guys don't have the flexibility to do that, just keep it in the front, it's okay. But I went basically five, five, five. So I went front, back, front. Five set, five, excuse me, five reps, right? Five reps, five reps, five reps, okay? Um, following that exercise, I went to the Smith machine and I normally would not recommend Smith machines because it's like, it takes the balance out of it. Is that dog in danger? Should I say, the dog's not in danger. I love animals anyways. Um, I went to the Smith machine. I don't normally use Smith machine, like I said, because of, it's just, if you're gonna bench press, bench press. Uh, and if you're gonna use a Smith machine, use a Smith machine, but they don't, there's not like, you can't say, I bench 315, and like, the guy's like, all right, show me, and then he's like, the guy sits down on a Smith machine, he's like, it's not the same, okay? A bench press is a bench press, Smith machine is a Smith machine. Even though you're bench pressing in the Smith machine, it's not the same. You can't be like, I bench five plates in a Smith machine, because you will not bench five plates on a bench. I mean, unless you do, and you're just really that fucking strong, it's crazy. Um, but they're not the same. So the Smith machine will take out your proprioceptive skills. Like you won't have to balance this shit, right? Because it's on the track. So you can use a little bit more weight than you normally would. So what I did, I used a closer grip just to kind of bang my triceps to get, you know, obviously the mass in the triceps because my right side is like, so hates me. And we have this like love-hate thing. Um, mostly just a hate thing, but I don't want to get into that. So 
Second exercise, close grip bench press. Worked up to 405, did like two really shitty reps um, because my angle was like really off. I looked weird. like I was doing like Fuck. a press. It was weird, but it doesn't matter. Point is, when you're doing this, keep it, if you're gonna do the close grip like I did, if you wanna do the bench, do bench however you wanna bench if you wanna do it, but if you wanna do the close grip like I did, I make sure that like my elbows are coming like as far out as possible. And again, if you don't have the flexibility in the shoulders and it starts to hurt, dip your elbows in a little bit and it'll take away the pain from the shoulder. So the more you can do it here, in my opinion for this exercise, the way that I'm doing it, the better. But if you start to feel pain, if you're like this, and you start to feel pain in your shoulders, then pull your elbows in closer to your body and just continue to press through there, okay? Um, I did that, five sets total. I tried to get anywhere from like eight to 15 reps. They gave myself like minimal rest, okay? Like a minute at the most. Now, following this exercise, uh, which one was it? Give it to me. It's improv shit. So, difficult, bro. See, he didn't even say it, but he's showing me hand movements. Half the time, he's just showing me hand movements. I don't even gotta remember anything. Just kidding, I remember most of it. Okay, fuck this guy. Um, so, this is a variation of the high row, right? Front row, what are you gonna call it? Front, like. Wide row. Wide row. Like, yeah. instead of like rowing here, yeah. what you're doing, and what I do is I'll grab a, uh, you know, an already fixed dumbbell, dumbbell, barbell, hex bar. Barbell. The Brad bar. Remember, it's the, it's either one. Okay, it doesn't matter. It could be like this, or it could be straight. The, the point is, you're you're putting your hands all the way to the ends of the weights, like so. Your your outside of your uh, hand is is against the weight, and press out. And all you're doing is you're thinking about pulling, like straight up to like just a little bit higher than shoulder, right? Sometimes I go a little bit higher. And it's important though when you're doing this that you keep your elbows ahead of the barbell. So if the barbell's here. Keep your elbows ahead of the barbell like this. Make sure they see this. So they're going like boom, like this. Versus this, because people will do this. I've seen people in the gym. They're going like this, right? That's like mostly front delt. So we're trying to get like almost like our full delt, kind of keep it here. Even though it's gonna hit your front delt a lot, um, probably the, definitely the most out of any front delt, out of any front delt, out of any delt, toyed, toydemus is, it's like a Pokemon. It's like a Pokemon. No, it, the delt toy is three muscles. Yes. Yes, okay. Don't act, don't act like I don't know that, bro. I know that, bro. It's the anterior, posterior, and uh, middle area. <laughs> uh, anyways, so if you go like this, you're more than likely gonna hit like your bicep and like fuck your back up. Maybe like roll your ankle and then hit mostly uh, anterior, which is the front. Okay, posterior is the back. So the girls with a nice posterior. See what I'm saying? So, so you guys, that's how you can remember it. Anterior, boom. Like Ant Man. I don't know. Anyways, let's get, let's keep going. So this exercise is cool, and now I want to add one more thing, like that I think about while I do this, you guys probably would not even think about. <sighs> How do I explain this? It's kind of difficult, but um, at the start of the movement, right? My hands are all the way out. What I'm thinking about doing is I'm thinking about like flaring my lats. So if you guys know how to flare your lats, great. That shit's hard. If you don't know how to flare your lats, you'll learn to do that over time if you're a little bit younger. I didn't know how to do it right away, but if you learn to flare your lats, so like first is standing here, there. So you know like the guys at ILS with a major lat syndrome when they like they walk around the gym because they just learn how to flare their lats so they can walk around like this and they wear belts like this and then they're in the gyms and they're like they walk around like this. Yeah, yeah. Sorry bro. It, they're like oh, sorry, sorry bro. Sorry. sorry bro. I was here. I was here. They're like this. They're just like this. And they like they. <laughs> There's one at this gym. <laughs> Such a douchebag. Anyways, woo. Long story short, right? That's when they first learn how to use their lats so they gotta just keep them flexed all the time because you look extra big. You see, can they, can they see it? Can they see the? So anyway, so this is lat, this is flare, this is relax, right? That's normal. So what I'm saying is for this exercise, flare your lats, okay? Which is what it's gonna do, it's kinda gonna, it's gonna like roll your elbows forward, right? And the reason why I like this, I feel way more balanced. Because if you start to pull like, just like this, right? You're gonna feel your traps and your shoulders. And I notice I feel more my traps. So now when I flare my lats, it almost takes your traps a little bit out of the movement. So if you flay your lats forward, right? And so you're here, and all you're thinking about is like pulling with your elbow like this and keeping your lats flared, you're gonna get a really cool contraction in like your whole shoulder versus just like your shoulder and your traps, right? So I know that's kind of like complicated, but if you understand that, try and, um, I was gonna say a really cool word for like, apply that. I could just say apply that. That works, like sun, sun lotion that I didn't apply and I had to burn the other day. But, um, okay. That's a great exercise, probably one of my favorites, because you also look really cool in the mirror. You probably didn't get any good shots because Kevin's really shitty at filming. Um, just kidding. But, <clears throat> yeah, you look cool in the mirror, so you can take like selfies and stuff, or you can have friends take pictures of you, you look cool, and you're like this. Anyways, next exercise, I superset these two. 
uh, even though it's not a true superset because it's not opposing muscle groups. But I went from here, boom. So you know, every day is arm day, so I had to get some biceps in there. Cause also like the mirror that I was looking at when I was doing this, is a really cool mirror in this gym that like, so when you do this, you look extra cool. And I want to feel cool, plus I want to bicep pumps. Plus I knew it was gonna go hit more like pressy movements. So it all kind of made sense, but I just rationalized it cause I wanted a bicep pump. Anyways, so do the same thing. These are both five sets and don't worry so much about reps. Just do as many reps as possible, both sets. Completely different muscle groups. Like you'll feel a little bit fatigued when you're in here doing the curls because your shoulders are kind of like tired of being held up, but completely different muscles, you'll be fine. Um, so do as many as possible. Each set, give yourself about a minute, minute 30 rest in between each superset. Probably like two minutes, so you can like really, really get it. Um, I don't know why I did this, but I did it. That's okay. Anyways, uh, what's next? Decline. The decline dumbbell press. And I just threw this in there because I hadn't done decline dumbbell presses for like, you know, probably close to like 26 years. So, you don't need um, to. yeah, you know, you don't really need to. Um, well, you don't because you got. Yeah, I definitely don't because I need to work my upper chest, which is like most people have to work their upper chest. Yeah. <laughs> squad, yeah! Get him on the camera! Yes! Hell yeah! Anyways, um, squad, uh, all lives matter. Anyways, um, you gotta get. Like, I've always had like a better development down here, and this has always been like really shitty, like super shitty, like worse than Kevin shitty. And, um, you know, it's like bad, but. Um, so I don't really do a bunch of decline, but if you need to build this section, then do some decline. Um, but really, like, benching will be fine, and other movements will be cool. The reason why I did the decline is because I haven't done it in a while. Um, you can move more weight, definitely, in the decline position. Um, and whatever you do, like, stuff like this, whenever I do decline, stuff that I'm not, like, comfortable with, I make sure I do stuff really slowly. So I get like a really good like uh, feel for it because I haven't done it in a while. So I don't want to rush it because like my shoulders might be like, what the hell is going on? So if you don't do it, don't rush it, but just go into it slowly. But understand that you can move more weight than you normally can like in a flat bench press because you're stronger in that position. It's also a shorter range of motion that you have to go through. But I kind of went to like a guillotine. I kind of like guillotine press it. So I made it like extra, extra hard. So the 120s I were pressing was actually like 375 pound dumbbells. Damn, it's crazy. It's bro. crazy, huh? You saw it. You saw when I did it, the, remember when we went to go row it and then I press it and I yeah. was just like, we shouldn't put that because the internet would be like, what the fuck, get all fucked up. Fake. Yeah, they'd be like, it's fake, it's fake, steroids, loser, uh, dick small, like all these things that they all say and it's like, <laughs> if they only knew. Anyways, um, so, huh, what's next? Next exercise, drugs. Next exercise, drugs? Drugs. You said, you said drugs, bro. No, I said drugs. Oh, are you trying to sell me drugs? No. I'm about to report you to the government. No, bro. They're gonna send you back to Taiwan. Drugs. Bro. Kevin's Taiwanese, by the way. That's bam. Damn. Why are you trying to change the subject? All right, drugs. Anyway, so you know who else is Taiwanese? Jeremy Lin, I learned that yesterday. Kevin taught me that. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna give Kevin the Jeremy Lin haircut. Anyways. This is the pad of BAM, which is probably the most important part of this video. Um, I'm trying to drop it. I don't know if I should. I might, maybe, I don't know. Anyways, comment below, let me know. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. What, what's next, though? There's nothing next. That's it. This is shrugs. Oh, shrugs. I shrugs tried. are basic. Yeah. Shrugs are easy. That's it. No, no, it's not. Just kidding. Um, the shrugs, I did another video for explaining the shrugs more in detail. And I might even be wearing the same clothes. You never know. Go check that shit out. But. Actually, no, seriously, in all seriousness, um, the shrugs, I did that five sets. If you want to implement this, if you want to use this routine to implement it, I did five sets. Um, I didn't really go up crazy in weight just because I've been keeping all the heavy stuff for like deadlifts. Um, because I didn't, I didn't need to do heavy weight for the shrugs, you know? I don't really need to get my chops that much bigger. I just kind of like, just kind of like icing on the cake, top it off a little bit, you know, like the froth on the top of a beer. Like, you ever do that? Anyways, um, that's it. Give the video a big thumbs up. I love you guys. Sorry about the ranting and all the bullshit and all the other stuff, but I'm not. So like, hashtag sorry, not sorry. Um, Bryce and Taylor, that's the song. Um, that's all I got. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe and check out the other trap video. Like it's a trap. Um, <laughs> the poker traps, no, but check out the other video if you want to learn more about the shrug and how to do it properly. It should be on the channel after this video. I love you guys. I'm out. Make sure you subscribe to the Snapchat. Bro, put the Snapchat in here. Do, do the thing. Why? Do the thing. Again? Again, do the thing. Where? This side? Oh, right here. There it is. Find me. I love you. I'm out. I'm gonna ride my bike. Alright, there, bro. Alright, bro.